Good morning, CFR. Happy Sunday. I hope by now you have found your groove in your weekly and daily task. Uh, today we are going to do some locomotion movement, about 10 to 20 minutes of it, just to get our bodies moving in every sort of direction. You may seem a little silly, but I guarantee that your body will thank you for this. And then we will end with a little stretch. Okay, let's get going. Let's get started. We're going to start with our head. All I want you to do, a big circle to the left. So chin goes to your chest. Go all the way around. Good. And the other way. Roll down to the ground one vertebrae at a time. You can bend your knees if you need to. Soften your knees, roll back up. Let's do that one more time, chin to chest. Roll all the way down, bend your knees. Soften your knees, roll all the way back up. Take one foot in front of the other. Soften in both knees, gonna go into the ostrich. Relaxing your head, just doing soft bounces. Let your head go, let your spine relax. Keep going until I tell you to stop. And soften to your knees, roll all the way. Take a step forward with your left leg. Soften in both knees, chin to your chest, roll all the way down. And ostrich, start bouncing. Relax your head. And stop, soften your knees, roll all the way up. Head is relaxing to roll up. And standing feet are gonna be hip width apart parallel. You're gonna roll all the way down. Walk your hands out. Then I want your hips to go towards the ground. Shoulders are down. And push back into our downward dog, head through. Hips to the floor. Shoulders down. Breathe into your hips. And push back, head through. One more time. Hips to the ground, shoulders down. Breathe into your hips. Push back, head through. Bend your knees. Walk your hands to your feet. Stay here for a second. Round your shoulders out. And slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. We're going to do a duck walk. Both feet and knees are straight forward. Come down to the ground. You're going to go heel wall toe all the way forward. Trying to get some movement in your ankle and your knees. Good. Three, two, one. Stand it up. Walk it back. Next one is going to be bear crawl. Come down to your hands and your knees. You're going to lift your knees off the floor, keep everything exactly where it is, and then opposite arm, opposite toe, teeny tiny movement. Keep on going until you hear me say stop. Squeeze your belly. Three, two, one, and stop. Have a seat on your butt. Going to go into crab. Fingertips are towards your butt. Lift your hips as high as you can. Walk backwards. Three, two, one. Good. And relax. Let's go through all of those again. We're going to start with the ostrich. We're going to do ten bounces with right leg pull. Here you go. Three, two, and bounce. Switch legs, left leg forward, 
Chin to your chest, roll down, back. Roll it back up. We're gonna go into our duck walk. Knees are forward, heel ball toe. Try to roll over your ankle, roll over your knee. And stand all the way up. Stack it up. Going into bear crawl. Hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your knees an inch off the floor, teeny tiny steps. Keep on going. Three, two, one. Have a seat. Crab walk. Fingertips towards your butt. Lift your hips up and crab walk back. And relax. Watch this one for a second. Just going to get a little movement in our shoulders. We're going to start in a tabletop position. Lift your knees up. You're going to take your left leg back, left arm reaches to the sky, and then you're going to bring it right back down, okay? Let's do three of those together. Lift your knees off the ground, left leg back, left arm reaches, push your hips up, good, come back to the center, and again, left leg back, reach towards the sky, hips up, and back to the center, one more. Left leg back, reach towards the sky, and back to the center. Relax for a second. We're going to go into the right arm, back, right leg back. Get to your tabletop position. Knees are going to be lifted. Right leg back, right arm reaches, lift your hips up. Bring it back to the center. And again, right arm, right leg, reach. Bring it back to the center. One more, right leg back, right arm reaches. Bring it back to the center and relax. Hands are come to a standing position. We're gonna do the horse. This one is a little odd. So you're gonna walk your feet wider than your shoulders. Toes are just slightly turned out. Bend your knees, track them over your toes. Tuck your hips under. All I want you to think about is pushing into your right leg and straightening your left. So push, push, push. You can move with it. Okay, let's get into the position. Feet wider than your shoulders. Toes slightly turned out. Bend your knees. Track them over your toes. Tuck your hips under. Push into your right leg. We're going to do 10 of them. 10. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it in. Relax for a second. We're going to do that one more time. Walk your toes out. Wider than your shoulders, slightly turned out. Bend your knees. Tuck your hips under and push. Eight. Nine and ten. Very good. We're going to come down to our squat. If you need to put something underneath your toes to get into a comfortable position, go ahead and do so. Coming all the way down to your squat. So if you're not in a comfortable position, you can put something underneath your heel to elevate. We're going to put our right hand goes to our left knee. Our left ankle, you're just going to push the left knee out, push, push, one more, good, let's switch sides, left hand to the right ankle, right elbow goes inside of your knee, and push, one more, good, and stand up. If you need to get something underneath your heels, go ahead and get it. This time we're going to go down the chore squat. Right hand goes to your left ankle, and we're going to try and twist open with our left side body. We're going to do each side five times. All right, bring it down. And twist.
two more. Last one. Go ahead and push side. And twist. One more. Go ahead and skip all the way up. Shake out your legs. This time, we're going to try and extend our arm all the way up to the sky and bring it back down. And squat down. Right arm to left ankle. And twist all the way up. Back down. Two more. One more. Good, and switch. Left arm, left ankle, go for it. Two more. Last one. Good, and stand up. The next one is gonna look like going down into a squat. I'll show you first. Both hands are inside. Prayer position with your arms. You're just going to roll down, roll back up. The goal of this is to roll as low as you can, okay? All right, here we go. Squat all the way down. Elbows inside the knee. You can either hold a prayer or you can put knuckles to knuckle. Trying to go all the way down, head to the ground, and then roll it up. Two more. One more. Good. And just hold. Rock side to side, keeping your elbows in, trying to push them out. Push them out at the same time. For five, four, three, two, one. And slowly come up. Shake out your legs. Going to get inverted. A couple of options here. You don't have to leave the ground if you don't want to. Bringing your hands to the floor. All you're going to do, option one, is just try and push off this left foot. Push. And then right back down. We're just going to focus on this left leg. I'll show you three options. Option one, hands to the ground. Push. Option two, a little bigger. And option three, is trying to get your right leg or left leg, whichever one is coming in the air first, all the way up, and then right back down. We're going to do five of them. Three, two, hands to the ground. Don't be aggressive in this position. Just slow and steady. Two more. As you can hear my breath, pushing out. Good, last one. Very good, and switch sides. This one may be a little harder, so take it a step down if you need to. And five on this side. Two more. Last one. Good. And relax. Let's just get a little bit of movement in your shoulders. Hand by your side. Bring your shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Reverse. Back, up, forward, and down. Two more. Hold, and back, arms in front, same exact thing, circle with your shoulders, and reverse, one more, and reverse, good, arms all the way above your head, squeeze your butt, squeeze your 
your belly. Side bend to the right as much as you can. Push your hips out. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Bring everything back up to the opposite side, all the way up the middle. Good, and bring them back down by your side. Get a little movement in your neck, chin to your chest. And what I want you to do, chest to the sky. One more to the chest. Chest up to the sky. Head to the center, the right ear to your right shoulder. Switch sides. And again, right ear to your right shoulder. Left ear to your left shoulder. And our last movement till we get into our stretch. Hands are going to be behind your lower back. Squeeze your butt. I want you to get as much arch in your lower back as you can. Push your hips forward. And bring it back up. All the way back. Good. Two more of these. Last one. Very good, and relax. Go ahead, get a mat, maybe a couple of blocks or a blanket, and we'll get into our stretch. Go ahead, make your way down to a seated position. We're going to start with left leg in, right leg is going to go out. Wherever your knee is comfortable in this position, you're going to twist towards your right leg and just relax over. Relax your head and just breathe. Slowly roll back down. Straighten out your left leg. Right leg comes in. Bend it wherever it's comfortable. Twist towards your left leg. Relax all the way over.
Slowly roll back up. Both legs are going to go out in front of you. Relax your shoulders, relax your head, and just go to whatever you can breathe and hold. As your body loosens into the stretch, try and walk your arms out a little farther. Slowly roll back up. Walk your legs out. They can be in a narrow V or a wider. The only thing I want you to focus on are straight, strong legs. So whatever that is for you. Once you find that, if this is enough stretch for you, stay right here. Just relax your shoulders forward, relax your neck. If you need more, Go ahead and walk your arms out to where you feel stretch. You can always have a pillow or a ball or whatever in front of you to help you. Slowly come out of this one. Bring your legs together, cross your ankles. You're going to come into a tabletop position. Once you find your tabletop, go ahead and lower yourself all the way down. Going into our scorpion. Right arm comes into a V. Left arm plays on the floor. Left leg goes all the way up the ankle. You're going to feel this mainly in your chest. You'll feel it in your lower back as well. Try and breathe.
Let your body adjust. Bring your left arm out into a V. Right elbow is up. Right arm goes all the way up and over. Back to the center. Both hands underneath your chest, bringing your butt back towards your heels. Toes are going to be together, knees are apart, and go into puppy pose. So walking your arms all the way out, butt is going to go into the air, forehead to the floor, and breathe into your left. Walk your arms all the way towards the left. Right arm should be And walk your arms all the way to the left. And both hands come back to the center. You're going to bring your butt back towards your heels into child pose. Just relax.
releasing the other hip. You're going to walk your left arm all the way out, bringing your right arm underneath your left. And walking your right arm as far through your left as you can. Thread your right arm. Your right arm goes forward, your left arm goes through. seated position. Roll your shoulders back. Take a big breath all the way up through your nose. Big breath out through your mouth. And you are done. Have a good rest of your day.